follow breaking news at 6. A shorter sentence than some people expected for a girl who planned an attack at her high school. She is so young, the plot's so serious, the court won't even release any details about it. Denver 7 Sally Mamdu in court today, and you spoke with the DA about this plea deal, Sally. That's right, Teresa. Higgins will serve two years in a youth correctional facility, and then after she finishes that sentence, she'll be under four years of intensive probation. Today, she pled guilty to, commit, to a solicitation to commit murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Her sentencing hearing will be set in February. Brooke Higgins' family declined to give a comment to the media as well as her lawyer. Now, we spoke to the district attorney, and this is what he had to say on the plea agreement and what it means for the teen. And obviously, there were risks that that we had to weigh, there were potentials that we had to consider, and this to me provided us the greatest opportunity to get the most public safety, justice, and frankly, rehabilitation possible for this particular defendant. Now, one of the plea agreements is for Higgins to have absolutely no contact with Sienna Johnson, who is the second defendant in this case. Her hearing will be set next month. From the Douglas County Justice Center, Sally Mebdu. Denver 7.